I recently completed my build in the XQ69, but I have not turned on the system scenes due to a reason. I shared my video on Reddit and one guy suggested that I should take a look at the cable extension that came with the case and I thought he was kinda right as the cable does look a bit sketchy. I searched around on Amazon and found this cable but it is shipped from China, meaning it should be available on Ali. And yes, I found it on AliExpress with more detailed information about it. It is 0.7mm square cable, meaning it has 20 gauge wires. Not good, we need at least 18 gauge. And seeing these power extension cables being sold out on NK's website and being available on Sligo's website, I think these are very demanding. I decided to pull out the cables of the C13 block of the XQ69 extension cable to see how it looks. The cables are soldered to the block, then covered by heat string to avoid shorting. Anyway, there's no going back now. Time to make myself a new extension cord. First is the 18 gauge wire. I've used this for some of my custom PSU cables. This one is easy to buy. Next is the C14 header. I picked this one on Amazon and this is the only one i found that can be universally used in any case. For example, I can use this for my Cougar QBX case. And compared to this, the Monos Audio looks much more premium. This is the Ryangold C13 plug that I use, but I think you spotted the problem. The plug seemed to be thicker than the cheaper one. In this case, it completely blocks the USB 3 cable from being mounted. However, a very simple mod can fix the problem. We can use some screw spacers and longer 32 screws to push down the power supply. My screws are a bit long, so I use some nut to accommodate the extra length. I found two spacers in my garage, so I could only mount two screws, but the case frame also hold the PSU in place, so adding extra screws is not necessary, but for my OCD, I may buy some in the future. This simple mod with long screws and spacers will allow us to use the extension cable in any case, so it is very handy. I took a look at the wire of the original extension cable. The wire insulation is very thin, but the wire is thick, so I think it can handle the load of the PC just fine. Here's the comparison of my 18 gauge wire and the cases. You can see my wire's diameter is smaller. Oh well, cannot go back now. Both the C14 and C13 headers are very easy to use, just a few screws and we can access to install the wires. By the way, beside the middle wire, if you don't know which wire goes to the left or right, on both ends of the blocks, they are clearly labeled as L and N, so you cannot mistake those.
Everything is done now. I can happily close the panel and try playing control. Even though it was unnecessary to do with the original cable, I still think it is worth to do for the peace of mind. And by removing a few screws, I can use the two plugs for another case. So it's good. That's the end of this quick video. While doing this mod, I recently discovered a few things that you can do with the XQ69, but you can't with the Dr. Zaber Sentry 2.0. So stay tuned and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.